Hey guys, Daniel, your host here from Golden Finds, and we are back at the thrift store to see what Golden Finds we come across. So I do hope that you guys enjoy this thrifting session at various Orange County Goodwill stores. If you're new to my channel and you guys love thrifting, then this is the channel for you. I do welcome you guys to hit that subscribe button and make sure that you're also hitting the notification bell so you're notified of all my weekly videos. I have noticed that some people have mentioned in the comments that they're not receiving notifications about the release of my videos so definitely make sure that you check your settings to see that you have all notifications set for my channel so i do hope that you guys enjoy this walkthrough as always make sure that you guys stay until the end to see what golden finds made it home with me so we are seeing some interesting things as we start our thrifting adventure here there was this trader joe's bag now i believe this is more of a cooler bag um and it was 8.99 i know that there's currently one that was like very viral on the internet i think it was the color pink but i don't think it was a cooler bag I came across this vintage Kempel milk glass lace etch plate. I thought it was very nice. It was beautiful. I love the details of the design on it. And then also this vintage Hallmark candle holder. So this was very nice. It was $2.99. It looks like it just needed some deep cleaning on it. There was some discoloration, but still a nice piece. Now, I wasn't sure if this was giving oz vibes if they were trying to do like the metal tin man it definitely looks like it was diy'd by somebody i just don't understand the top portion it was a very interesting choice to use a moccasin as the head for this tin man made out of a teapot but still very creative and as like i've always mentioned you guys it's always so interesting to see what you come across at the thrift store Now, I will say that this is really creepy, ugly, and all of the above, you guys. I think this might be a possible vintage Mahone stoneware cookie jar. Now, I just... It's not my style, I will say, but it was still very interesting. You know, you just, again, like I said previously, you just never know where you're going to find at the thrift store. You can always come across some interesting pieces. Now, I was not a big fan of that cookie jar, but there it was. And as you guys know, I always am looking at the baskets. I'm always on the hunt for one. You know, they have so many different materials, so many different colors, so many different sizes. So definitely always make sure to check out your local thrift store to see what you can find so you don't have to waste money on a brand new one. Saw this Michael's Christmas collection piece. This pick, it was still brand new with its original tag for $1.99. And then I also saw this Bath and Body Works White Barn. And it was a peppermint candle for $4.99 Christmas theme. Thank you for being a friend to all of those of you who subscribe to my channel and continue to support me. This Golden Girls Squad Goals mug looks like it was originally from Home Goods. And then this was an interesting piece. It was a skull, but it looks like someone lit a bunch of different candles. I think it was probably a candle that was multicolored and let it drip, which actually gave it a very interesting, cool effect. So I think this is kind of cool. What do you guys think? It's very interesting. Nonetheless, you know, very unique again for Halloween or any time, I guess, if you want to display it. Then I saw this a vintage piece of Blue Sky. It was 2015. And it was originally from Home Goods. I'm sorry, I guess this really isn't vintage. I don't know why I said vintage, but nonetheless, it's a very interesting piece. You put a tea light on the inside, and you guys can see there was some stuff on the inside. I wasn't too sure what that was all about. But then I saw this as well, which kind of got a little bit stuck here. I'm trying to take it out. So this would be really cute for a little spice rack in the kitchen, or maybe like to use this something maybe in the in your bathroom. It has these two shelves, so that would be really cool for some storage techniques. So that was very interesting too as well. And not bad for the price. 
Then these were absolutely gorgeous. I love the color. I love the blue design. These are Ken Edwards El Palomar blue pottery plates made in Guadalajara, Mexico. So these were really beautiful, you guys. These are kind of almost a regret that I did not pick up. They did have the smaller plates and then the larger ones that you guys saw right now. And they were just gorgeous i absolutely loved it now it was a little bit confusing i don't know if each plate was 5.99 or if they were selling the whole set entirely usually they mark it they do a good job of putting like the set for that price it will stay in on the tag but every plate was marked so i'm not too sure this is a magenta christmas mug that has a santa and then this is down the chimney on the back then there was a little bit more of a few christmas decorations that you guys will see as well Our featured comment of today is going to go out to my wonderful friend Jay from Home with Jay. Hi Daniel, I was super excited to see another video. I look forward to your content and all of your great finds. Thank you for sharing and taking the time to show us what's out there. I get surgery Friday, so I'm going to binge watch your older videos. Happy weekend to you and your hubby. Jay, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you leaving your sweet comment and I will keep you in my prayers for a good surgery and that you have a speedy recovery my friend again thanks so much for always being here and watching my videos you guys jay has a thrifting channel i will go ahead and add her channel in the description box below so you guys can definitely go over and check her out she is so sweet and so wonderful and if you guys love thrifting as much as i do you guys are going to love her channel so definitely head on over show some some support and check out a fellow thrifter i just love being able to shout out my friends here and if they have channels i will always do that so definitely make sure you guys take note of that if a youtuber friend has a youtube i will always shout them out so definitely head on over to jay and check out her videos she has so many videos on thrifting so you guys are going to love her if you love thrifting as well like i do Now these aren't vintage Christmas mugs, but I do tend to pick up if it's a cute one. So these are actually from World Market and they were actually priced very well at 99 cents. There was a total of four 
but I didn't want to bring all four so you guys will have to wait and see in the haul if these make it with me and if I did how many did I bring because at 99 cents it's definitely such a great buy. Speaking of 99, the 99 cent store here in California has officially closed its doors so these were Halloween pieces so it will be very interesting you know eventually in 10 years or so these will be considered vintage pieces because the 99 is unfortunately no longer available. They always had some heavily inspired Halloween pieces for Johanna Parker so it's truly sad you know the 99 was definitely a big staple here for the state of California and unfortunately they are no longer here so I also found a complete set of this Ray Dunn pieces you guys these were from 2017 the baby canister was $5.99 it's the red polka dots um well red with the white polka dots they also had the sugar that was the scoop as you guys can see that was three dollars and 99 cents and then hidden in the glassware which was very interesting i found the creamer so this is all part of one set there's actually more canisters to this set this one says pour and that was 2.99 so the three-piece set was definitely not a bad price at all for all of those saw these glass vases for like tea lights or candles they were very pretty they were giving me kind of like new years but definitely i think these were meant for christmas with all of the stars and i bet these would look very beautifully lit with like a little candle or a tea light or something like that in that sort found a little bit of halloween didn't find too much during this thrift trip but this candy corn candle stand was interesting very whimsical of course seven dollars and 99 cents that big candy corn definitely would make a statement. Do you guys like candy corn? I know a lot of people are not big fans of it. I'm not really, but it's still very cute to decorate with. Vintage nylon Easter bunny plush. This was very cute as well. It's kind of made out of like some type of parachute material is what everyone says. It's kind of like that very rough, kind of almost like rough nylon material. It's not very soft at all. So it's not very cuddly. Then there were these vintage Marshalls salt and pepper shakers of Santa. Look at this vintage tag, you guys. Vintage Marshalls at its best. There were also some very beautiful hutches while I was thrifting at this specific store. This was the Goodwill in the city of Santa Ana where they have the marketplace, where they have bins, and they also have the electronics store. So these were gorgeous. This one was not bad for $149. It's kind of still a little bit pricey, but still, nonetheless, it was still a nice piece. And I actually kind of really loved how they styled this one. This one would have definitely been very nice if only I had endless room in my home to be able to bring all the hutches that I want. You guys, I already have two hutches currently, but for some reason, I kind of want to switch out one of the ones that I have for another one. It's still up in the air. It's just kind of undecided, but I've been on the hunt to see if maybe I could find another hutch. I'm always on the lookout on Facebook Marketplace. They always post, a lot of people post a lot of hutches there and they're usually very reasonably priced so i'm still keeping an eye out but again it's up in the air i haven't fully decided if i'm going to get rid of one of the hutches that i currently have then there are some random things i was contemplating on picking this up this would have been like a really quick easy storage solution to put maybe mail or something like that as you guys can see it was originally from home goods and it was at goodwill for three dollars and 99 cents i thought it was a cute piece again very neutral then i ran into this bowl this is a possible vintage bordalo pinero cabbage bowl not entirely sure if it was i tried google lens and some of them came up like that and it was crazed and remember again crazing is when the glaze has started to crack but nonetheless it was still a really cool piece then there was this other hutch which almost felt vintage it was very interesting i had never seen that bottom section like that where it's kind of like deepened into it and it was 119 dollars it definitely had a lot of storage space with all those drawers so it was a very unique piece
can we talk about vintage toys? You guys, I absolutely fell in love with these. There were various Fisher Price vintage doll houses and play sets. They had a cafe, they had all these little houses, and then they even had the furniture, like someone donated like all of these cute little sets now look at all of these details how fun is this this is totally pro giving me i think probably 90s i want to say look even the little fridge opens up and all the little tools in the kitchen and everything was just absolutely so precious you guys and my deep dark secret is is that i always wanted to play with a dollhouse when i was a kid growing up i was always 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 wishing that i could play with a dollhouse so it's just so cool to see this but you know as growing up you know obviously i couldn't play with a dollhouse my parents wouldn't get me a dollhouse i was a boy so i just always had that feeling of wanting to play with one so these were so cool to see at the thrift store Now, this is something I feel that you would never think to find at a thrift store, these greeting cards. So it looks like someone donated like an entire collection. They were $1.49 and they had so many cool ones like that old hag one was very cute and funny. They had these that had these magazine covers of the New Yorker. These again were $1.49 and they had various other ones. They had like these Christmas ones. They had the New Yorker one again. This one was very pretty as well. It was like a piece of art. Then they had this as well that was giving like vintage vibes so these were really neat to find so i really enjoyed seeing those then there was a few pieces of the primitives by kathy part of the elaine thompson collection and these were four dollars and 99 cents for these stars now you guys have already seen these in my hutch you guys have seen previous videos where i have already have like the fourth of july decor in the background so you already know that those made it home with me but there were also these fun ones these were like little ornaments of the stars two dollars and 99 cents for those which i thought were really pretty and not bad for the price and then baskets you guys know that i love a good basket so look at this tiny one it's absolutely absolutely so cute i love the size i love the color it's a little broken as you guys can see but at 2.99 i still thought it was a really great price for that so make sure you guys stay tuned the haul is coming up try to see and guess what made it home with me can you guys take a good guess well let's see if you're right because the haul is coming right up next you guys enjoyed that walkthrough we have a rather large thrift haul to get started with so let's go ahead and jump right into it you guys know the drill already if there's something that you saw in the walkthrough that you would have picked up for yourself let me know in the comments down below and if you see something that i picked up if you liked it and if you also would have picked it up so we're going to start with just whatever let's just grab the very first item so i did pick up the Ray Dunn, St. Patrick's Day, I'm Irish Canister. This was $4.99. Now, I am not Irish, but I knew this would be perfect for St. Patrick's Day. I unfortunately did not have a lot of pieces when it comes to Ray Dunn for St. Patrick's Day. I only have a few pieces. So when I see them at the thrift store, I really do try and buy them up because I want to add a few of them into my collection so I can further decorate, you know, with next year so i thought this was such a good price for a canister four dollars and 99 cents it looks completely brand new and i absolutely love it beautiful shade of green then i also picked up the santa mug now i am more accustomed to picking up the vintage christmas santa mugs but there was just something about this one that i really fell in love with it was only 99 cents and this is actually from world market so there was a total of four of them i only picked up one i didn't need all of them and it looks like they're completely brand new not sure if they were used at all but i just really loved it and i thought it would be perfect to add that face is so cute and it's almost 
kind of giving, you know, that old fashioned look, but you know, it won't be a real vintage mug, but I absolutely love it. It will go so well with the rest of my collection for the Christmas season. Then I picked up this basket. You guys know that I have such a weakness for baskets. This was $2.99. Now I have seen some people um, kind of DIY this by, you know, using oven cleaner spray to remove this finish. I'm not entirely sure if I want to try that. I kind of, I love the shape of the basket. I don't care too much for the color. Again, I might leave it. I may not touch it. I may try that hack where people are using the oven cleaner spray and, you know, brushing it off. I'm not too sure yet, but I picked it up because I love the size of it and I knew that it would be perfect to display some stuff um, that I have an idea for the hutch. I am revamping the hutch, you guys. It's going to be completely different. I haven't decided exactly what I want to do, um, but that's going to probably be in my Vida lifestyle channel. Again, anything that has to do with decorating is now in my other lifestyle channel. It's no longer here on Golden Finds, and I'll talk to you guys about it over there if you follow me on that channel. Then I also picked up all of these cards. These are so cute. They're whimsical, and I actually got them for half price. They were the color of the tag, so I got them for like, I think, 75 cents each. So I did pick this up. This one is beautiful, and it's Master of the Female Half Lengths, Flanders, Three Musicians, Circa 1530, Oil on Panel. So this is just beautiful. They got it from the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. And it says, it's a Christmas card, wishing you a joyous at Christmas and Happy New Year. So I thought these were so pretty. I really love this one. I picked that one up. I also picked up this one. This was also, I think they also bought this at, from the same gallery. It says, best wishes this Christmas and New Year's. And this is Francis Flora Bond Palmer and Nathaniel Courier. And let's see. Yes, absolutely perfect beautiful I love this it's like an old vintage beautiful painting and then I also picked this one which is the New Yorker greeting cards and this is let's see I don't really see the scenery of this one but it's just cute I loved it it was like an older couple and they have their little dog the little dog is what definitely got me to buy it and I also picked up this one. This one was so hilarious. I don't know why. Um, this is this by Jolly Awesome. So I did pick up this one to the old hag. So this is giving me like kind of like Loteria cards or some type of, you know, like vintage cards, you know, like um, which not witchcraft, but you know, you guys know which cards I'm talking about. So these were so whimsical and fun and I just loved them. So I knew that I had to bring them home and they're just so much fun. I also picked up these 4th of July stars, which are absolutely perfect. These are actually by, um, designed exclusively for Primitives by Kathy and it's part of the Elaine Thompson collection. $4.99. These are metal stars. They're red and blue patriotic stars. They do have some string, but I'm going to probably just, you know, cut that off and display the metal stars all throughout the hutch to go with the patriotic decor. I also picked up this champagne toast. Now this one was definitely a little pricey for being a single wick candle. It was $4.99, but it's absolutely amazing. It smells so good, you guys. I am um, I love it. Bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, juicy tangerine with essential oils. So you guys, I know that I love picking up Bath and Body Works candles. And this one's brand new. I also got this Christmas little sign. It says, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. $1.99. I'm not sure. This is probably something from the dollar spot section from, I don't know if it was last year or when exactly. But I absolutely love it. I love the neutral colors. I love the color of this faux wood and then just the print on it. It's like a fabric. So I just fell in love with it, the simplicity. It would be so perfect for the holiday season and I cannot wait. And then I did get these, you guys. This, ugh, this, These things are so many of them. It's three. So I got three bouquets, $6.99. Let me know if you think that this was too much for this. These are olive bouquets. So all the leaves and you can see the little olives 
I know that olive trees are very expensive. So what do you think about bouquets though? Do you think this was a good price or did I pay too much? And last but not least, I told you guys it was a very long haul. I picked up the phone stand. So this is actually from Threshold. And um, because I've seen it before and there's like a paper wrapped around it that tells you what it is. So this is basically a pencil cup with a phone stand. So you put in your cable underneath here, it holds it in and then the cable comes up here so it can sit on your phone while it's charging. You can have your phone standing up or, you know, put it landscape. So I just thought it was really perfect. It was $2.99. I This will be perfect for when I am working. I love to listen to music. So I just prop my phone up there and you know, if it's charging, it works perfect like that. I currently have another one that's a Ray Dunn one and it just doesn't really work because you're not able to slip the, the cable underneath the, it's made out of ceramic, so. It, you know you just can't do it but that is the end of the haul you guys thank you so much for tuning into today's video please let me know in the comments down below there was a lot of goodies here on this haul was there something that caught your eye or is there something in the walkthrough as well because there was some good stuff as well if you would have picked something up let me know if you would have and why as always i thank you guys so much for coming to support me and i appreciate you so much and I will see you guys in our next thrifting adventure to see what our golden finds are. Until the next time, you guys.